desperately needed help finally on its way. Australia using military planes to transport supplies to PNG's highlands. Relief supplies including tarpaulins, household kits, water purification tablets. The settlements devastated by the landslide are still largely cut off. The search is for bodies, not survivors. There's so many uh, unrecovered bodies under the rubble. There's still water flowing underneath because it's coming down from the mountain. That water uh, obviously will be contaminated. Local authorities fear fresh landslips. Five days after disaster struck, it's still not remotely clear how many bodies lie under the rubble. PNG's government says it could be 2,000, but local officials now say it could be around 160. Even if early estimates do prove to be inflated, more than 150 dead is still a terrible toll. Some uncertainty is understandable. This location is remote and the atmosphere in the village after the slide would have been chaotic. Still, some critics here in Port Moresby say the government confusion is symptomatic of deeper problems and misplaced priorities in Papua New Guinea's national politics. Opposition MPs accusing the Prime Minister of ignoring the tragedy today. James Marape delivering his first public remarks. Our people in the village went to sleep for the last time, not knowing that they would breathe their last breath as they were sleeping peacefully. That peace now shattered for those who remain. Stephen Jedgetts, ABC News, Port Moresby.